There are millions of Blender users across the globe, and only a small handful of them have access to the secrets that the pros use to get a photorealistic render every single time. However, today I'm going to be revealing the top three of those secrets to you, and the first thing you must get right is adding motion board into your shots. In fact, here's a clip of my hands moving up and down, and let's pause right here. See that? Yeah, that's motion blur. See, if you want to create realistic animations, then using motion blur is literally imperative for that. And to enable it, literally all you have to do is check one box and the render properties inside of Blender. But this is kind of worthless if you forget one thing. Watch me pick up this pen. Do you notice something about the background? Well, yeah, it's getting blurry. Oh, freak. And this is called depth of field. It's something that is natural to all cameras and is very easy to do in Blender. I actually have an add-on up on Gumroad that does this. And don't worry, it's actually completely free. But you're gonna notice there's an option inside to create a camera with depth of field. And if you click this, it'll set up your camera with depth of field for you. It'll even give you a point that can control where the focus is going to be, aka what's going to be the pen in the example we used earlier. Now, of course, there's actually one more layer we can add to both of these. Sure, you can have motion blur and depth of field turn on, but anytime you have an animation, I see so many of you make the same exact mistake. I see tons of Blender users keyframing their cameras to have these perfect animations. But if anybody's used an iPhone to maybe record a video or something, we know that's not the case, because something called camera shake occurs. And that's where I'd recommend Ian Hubert's free camera shake add-on. You click one button and it handles the rest. Now, of course, I hate to get all serious, but I recently uploaded a video about a new AI that can generate 3D models from a single command. And if you're someone who cares a lot about 3D, I recommend you check it out. We'll discuss if 3D artists are getting replaced and what the future has in store for 3D artists in general. 